Dr. Smart Feitler, the uh, audio recorder and at times video recorder of uh, Ward Churchill's lectures. Uh, most of the time when I was unable to video record uh, due to uh, Churchill's request at whatever institution he was speaking at, um, apparently they would describe that he had people following him around um, and many people who opposed his views and he just doesn't allow that anymore, so people can't exploit him. Uh, which, it kind of makes sense, he, he, you can tell he feels threatened and he's told past stories about um, things that have been uh, brought out in uh, schools as well as in the media about um, his job and his views. Um, so at the first venue, <coughs> excuse me, at the first venue, uh, I was told that by the, I guess, the host of the event that we were unable to record. So I uh, pulled out the audio recorder and I followed with uh, recording it that way. At that one, he basically spoke about genocide and the various types of genocide. So, uh, other than how it's not just about uh, killing off a whole group, but it's basically getting them out of the area so that's the, the colonizer can take it over. Um, and I guess that is happening everywhere. Uh, groups of people. Um, it's also happening amongst businesses in some ways. Which is kind of bad as well. But um, groups of people, not to underscope that, but that's far more important than business. Uh, anyways. Um, yeah, so the next lecture was held at uh, U of T, the same campus, and this one I decided I would try and show up a little late before any sort of announcement was made with the video camera. I came in maybe two minutes after he had started speaking, um, and I came in, sat down, and I was able to shoot the whole thing, surprisingly, without anyone saying anything to me, but I did think that Churchill was giving me a, a bit of a look that maybe he didn't like it, but I don't know. I'm, I, I'm just a university student, you know, so uh, just basically interested in um, Anyways, so that was a much more interesting uh, lecture. The audience was more involved, very interesting questions. Um, one question among uh, an audience member, Churchill, didn't really understand and uh, ended up pushing the buttons of the other guy and they got, he got a little angry, both of them there. Um, that one was uh, basically more, uh, more or less brought in more talks about uh, global issues, and I, he also spoke about genocide as well, again, and I was able to shoot that whole uh, lecture without many problems, and Churchill spoke for a very long time, uh, I know, probably longer than scheduled, I think we went about a half hour, 40 minutes past uh, the allotted time slot that he was given. Uh, so he was definitely into the lecture, and you just get lots of passion about what he's speaking about, obviously. So he knows that he's an influential character, not character, but uh, a very influential person, and um, he knows that he's spreading like I guess good or awareness of better solutions to um, to our way of living. Um, what else? So the third event was at uh, was a yeah, the third event was at uh, Laurentian University. Um, this one I was unable to shoot as well. Uh, I was in a fairly small lecture room. I began setting up in the top left corner, and uh, we had somebody else coming in uh, who, who was a student at the University of Laurentian, and I guess he helped arrange having more Churchill come in. And uh, he you know, told me that Churchill didn't want any filming done, and he asked if I was a student of um, Laurentian University. Uh, which I said it was, and that still he didn't, 
he did once me shooting uh, Ward Churchill, even though I had said I was interested in it, and it was just purely for uh, personal sake. Uh, he said I was able to just go on YouTube or just search for video files on the internet to uh, watch those or show those to my friend, which I also said I was using them for. And, uh, yeah, no, so I was unable to shoot that one. Still got the audio recording. Um, that one was also very much about genocide again, much like all of them, um, and how his, the uh, Aboriginal people of Canada and basically um, uh, the Aboriginal peoples of Colorado. Churchill's final lecture held in the, at the University of Sudbury, which is basically the elite on Laurentian University campus. Um, his speaking there was much more uh, emotional and he was just very passionate and showed a lot of anger towards different groups of people, including educational systems in both Canada and uh, U.S. Not only educational systems, but um, our justice system. Um, so this one he showed a lot of anger in those people. Or <clears throat> so this one he showed a lot more anger uh, about uh, our political systems. And uh, he became very bitter raising his voice, yelling at times. It was, uh, it was good. Um, I think he got into it more there because there were uh, much more uh, native, uh, I guess Canadian Aboriginals there expressing their interest and their, their support for what Churchill's doing, which was, it was nice to see. Uh, kind of felt out of place being one of the only uh, white people, as he calls them. Um, just not because of my skin color, but he calls white a state of mind, which is uh, kind of interesting. Um, so this one, um, I didn't bother trying to videotape. Uh, I saw the same person who had asked me not to tape um, at the, the, the lecture before, so I didn't feel like I should bother, and it was a very much more intimate space. Uh, all Everyone on ground level, about 60 seats, just within 15 feet of Churchill, so I didn't, I didn't even bother risking it. I'm sure he'd recognize me anyway, seeing me at the past four lectures before, so I was like, ooh, who's this guy, this stalker? Um, but overall, uh, uh, I was, I, I enjoyed his, his lectures. Um, I'm sure biased in some parts, and they could be argued, uh, but Overall, he's, he's attempting to do good. Uh, he's, he's active in what he's doing. Um, uh, or good, I was just, he should allow uh, people to videotape. Uh, it is public, he wants people to see it, so he just, yeah, he just shouldn't say anything stupid that's gonna get him in trouble, which he, uh, which he shouldn't be doing if he's just speaking generally to a public audience, but I don't know, I guess that's our, our world, paranoid, or just being safe and stuff, but yeah, it's kind of nice. So although I was unable to uh, video record the events, uh, at each one we had somebody taping it, um, and I was told that that was um, with permission of Ward Churchill. I think he was hiring them to come in and do it. So the first event um, it seemed like a very professional crew, a nice big camera. Uh, so it seemed like that was probably going to be used for, um, for uh, to be this. It seemed that was going to be distributed maybe to other people. So it was going to be very high quality, um, and he would be playing them. That that couple, there was a pair there, a fair amount to do that. Uh, at the lecture afterwards at the U of T, that event had what seems to look like a U of T student shooting it, but he may have contracted them to come in and do that uh, for him. So there was crew there allowed to shoot, but it was very obvious now in the open, so he was clearly hiring them or it was asked them to do that. Um, and not allowing anyone else to shoot at all. So 